Hi, I'm John Voter from Unix Circles, and today we're going to look at our Tesla GPU-based computing server. This is a great deal we just got in in Unix Surplus. I've been dying to bring this to my customers out there. All you guys want to do hacking and cracking, now's your chance to give us a call. So let's take a look at what you get in this package right now. You get everything you need. We even have the server rails that originally came, came with the unit right here. There are these long rails right here. You have the PCIe bridge cards. You get two of them because this is a bridge to two different sets of servers. And you get the bridge cables. Everything's ready to go. We just pulled it out of the racks for you right there. And now the PA stair resistance. Let's take a look inside the server right here. So let's take a look at this chassis first of all. This is the NVIDIA S1070. It's a 1U chassis that's going to put right on top of any server you run. It has four GPU computings, each with these with 256 processors and cores on it. This chassis runs up to 10 amps at 110 or 5 amps at 220, so it takes a lot of power. It means you get a lot of cooling to go in through all the GPUs. So essentially the chassis just gives you PCIe video card slots into a big power supply and cooling. So that's the S1070 chassis made by NVIDIA. So let's take a look at our GPUs right here. We just need to unscrew them. This is the C1060, Charlie 1060 CPU, GPU unit here. It's a little bit older, it's the first generation. Now they're on the newer ones, like the 2000, and now they have the new 3000 series coming out. But these guys here are take about 150 watts each nominal. Um, and they can take up to more. So it's got a big, thick heat sink here and a big, thick GPU. But for those 150 watts, you get 256 cores running at 1.3 gigahertz. So this is where GPU computing comes into play. With CUDA or OpenCL or any of the other languages they like to de develop in, this allows you to do massively parallel processing. So let's take a look around the back side of this server. It's a little bit heavy at about uh, 30 pounds right now. But you get your two PCIe bridge cards, which will go into your server here and connect into the low profile card, cards that we have for you to bridge to. Okay? You also have the higher power power connector here. This is not your standard C19. This is an E15, which is a 220 volt capable connector right here. And the system can run at 110 or 220. Right now, most everybody runs it at 220 because you need so many per rack. And it's just going to take up so much wattage. But we here at Unix Circles can help you out. So I know everybody who's looking at this video is probably a math genius because you probably code in MATLAB in your sleep. But we'd be happy to uh, build a system custom configured with this for you. We have systems anywhere from the inexpensive servers with lower memory density, or you can go all the way up to 256 gigs and a dual twin to run two of these on the dual 6-core E5 generation Intel Xeon CPUs. It gets a little expensive. So we have machines at anybody's price budget to run with these things. We have machines with a lot of disk drives and little disk drives. Whatever you need, we can help you out here at Unix Surplus. Just give us a call and tell us what you really are looking for. There are a lot of little funny things that happen with this type of stuff, like you want to have low latency InfiniBand network connections between your servers and other such things. And we're happy to con custom configuration machine and provide you with both the switches, the power supplies, and the racks that all fit together. Or we're just happy to sell you just one of these boxes. I'm so excited to actually give this to put this in your hands at a price you can afford in order. Thanks for watching. I'm John Boder from Unix Surplus. Welcome to GPU Computing.